the feast of all saints. In festa omnium sanctorum. The lesson is taken from the sermons of the Venerable Bede, priest at Jarrow. Dearly beloved brethren, this day we keep, with one great cry of joy, a feast in memory of all God's holy children. His children, whose presence is a gladness to heaven. His children, whose prayers are a blessing to earth. His children, W. Ho's victories are the crown of the Holy Church. His chosen, whose testifying is the more glorious in honor, as the agony in which it was given was the sterner in intensity, for as the dreader grew the battle, so the grander grew the fighters, and the triumph of martyrdom waxed the more incisive by the multiplicity of suffering, and the heavier the torment the heavier the prize. And it is our mother, the Catholic Church, spread far and wide throughout all this planet, it is she t hat hath learned, in Christ Jesus her head, not to fear shame, nor cross, nor death, but hath waxed lealer and lealer, and, not by fighting, but by enduring, hath breathed into all that noble band who have come up to the bitter starting post the hope of conquest and glory which hath warmed yem manfully to accept the rays. Of a verity thou art blessed, O my mother the church. The blaze of God's mercy beateth full upon thee. Thine adornment is the glorious blood of victorious martyrs, and thy raiment the virgin whiteness of untarnished orthodoxy. Thy garlands lack neither roses nor lilies. And now, dearly beloved brethren, let each one of us strive to gain the goodly crown of one sort or the other, either the glistening whiteness of purity, or the red dye of suffering. In the army in heaven peace and war have both chaplets of their own, to crown Christ's soldiers with all. Moreover, to this also hath of the unutterable and boundless goodness of God seen, that he spreadeth not the time of working and wrestling, neither maketh it long, nor everlasting, and, as it were, but for a moment, so that in this short and scanty life there is wrestling and working, but the crown and the prize is in the life which is eternal. So the work is soon over, but the wage is paid forever. And when the night of this world is over, the saints are to see the clearness of the essential light, and to receive a blessedness outweighing the pangs of any torment, as testifieth the Apostle Paul, where he saith, The sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. O Ramus! Almighty and everlasting God, who again allowest us reverently to keep in one festival the worthy memory of all thy saints, be pleased, we beseech thee, to grant unto that great cloud of the desmond the outpouring of thy mercy whereof we are fain. Through our Lord Jesus Christ thy Son, who liveth and reigneth with thee, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen.